Bonjour. Hello. We're back. We are back. We're on our next adventure. Where are we going, Rodney Bills? Uh, 30 days of fun and good times in La Belle Provence, du Québec. That's right. Also known as a different country. <laughs> exactly. We're going to start with a canoe camping. But first, we sleep in a camping area. <laughs> and it's a private camping area. And just south of Rouen. Noranda. In? Rouen Noranda. Val d'Or. Val d'Or. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> okay, stand by. <laughs> we know where we're going. I know where we're going. Oh, so demanding. What does it say? It says, Bonjour Quebec. We are on a new adventure. Hi, we just got to our first camping spot. We just traveled five hours from North Bay all the way to Val d'Or and we've landed in this camping area. It always makes me laugh a little bit to see what everybody's camping in. This is a private campground, not a provincial campground. And so I'll show you, I'll give you a little bit of a tour. You've got the North Country and beside them a little bit more modest, we have a Starcraft. Further down, there's a Jayco and a Cherokee. And you got a big honking Durango at the other end. And you ready for the Bilzerinos? We just pulled in with the teardrop. <laughs> That's ours. And then we pop up this little tent just for the fun of it to keep dry. It rained all day. It's still misty. And so we're going to get dinner ready. And then we're going to um, call it a night probably pretty early in our damp bed. If you followed us last year, you'll know this is our setup. So I'm showing you. We got the truck. We got the canoe. You see, we've got the two bikes in back of the truck. And then we pulled the teardrop. And you make sure you find yourself a partner who wants to go with you. Right, Rod? Right, Rod. Why are you laughing? Uh, I like to see you struggle with the camera. Thank you. <laughs> But look at me. Yeah. I'm recording. I know. What's going on, Rod? So, um, before the queen got out of bed this morning, I boiled yep. up some water. I've got the French press going. It's uh, brewing nicely here right now. Uh, the jackery is uh, plugged into the frother. We have a nice little batch of oat milk in there about to be frothed up so that we can have a really good coffee in the wilds. Thank you, Rodney Bills, for my coffee this now morning. Now frothing. Now frothing. This is glamping. <laughs> Nous voilà. La réserve phonique La Vérandrie. We have arrived into the park. And this is Rodney Bills. And he's pretty excited. I'm very but, excited. Okay, but I'm going to show everybody what we have in the back because oh it's hilarious. God. We're loaded to the roof. Roof. <laughs> We've got a couple of bikes. We don't need the bikes to this. Uh, um, outing, but we will be stashing them away and we'll share that with you. Rod, what are we doing today? We are departing on a four day canoe trip and we have our fishing license so we can actually try to do some fishing. It's going to be a little bit rainy today, maybe tomorrow, but the next two days after that are supposed to be nice, which is good. It's going to be fun. Yes, it will. And this is the dirt road into Bay Barker and we're looking for moose and bears. Okay. 
Okay, we have arrived at Bay Barker. Um, Bonjour Bay Barker! <laughs> it was, I think, 29 kilometers on a road that you couldn't drive faster than 20 kilometers an hour because it was super bumpy. And oh. as you can see, the road is actually washed out over there. So this is as far as we can go. So we're going to put in here, paddle through this marsh, and get out to the main lake. Lac Victoria. Grand Victoria. Grand Victoria. Right, so we'll be on that lake all day today, actually, until we get to our campsite. And here's our gear. This is what we packed, folks. For four days. Red bag, sleeping, a tent, a mattress, pad, yellow clothes, and other crap. <laughs> Blue, food, very, 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 very important. And, oh, just so that you know, Rod and I haven't done a four day together canoe camping that is correct ever <laughs> so and now since i'm 60 it's a perfect time to start such a stupidity <laughs> let's have fun it's going to be perfect Just getting out to the main part of Grand Lake, Black Victoria, and uh, the wind has picked up quite a bit. We had a little sprinkle of rain. The waves are getting a little chop here, so we're going to try to tuck in behind this island that's just ahead of us and sneak through the narrow gap by the shore and try to avoid some of the wind. And then once we get out to the main part, we're going to turn to the left. And we should have a tailwind for the rest of the day to our campsite, which will be great. Time for lunch. What did you cook, Bridge? Salami, rice crackers, and apples. Yum! Let's do it. This is a botany lesson. This is Rod Bills. He's going to show you four different plants. Go ahead, Rodney Bills. What do we have here? Well, this is uh, actually winterberry which is our only native holly, actually. And you can see those berries that are on there. Those will get nice bright orange a little bit later in the season. Birds like to eat them. And they get nice and red later on. Yeah. And see my nice manicure? <laughs> All right, go on. Then we have here. What is this? These are cranberries. Uh-huh. And this whole shoreline is just covered in them. Um, it's nice sandy soil. Um, this is sort of the high water mark where the water would normally come up in the fall. And, and what's these, the Latin name? I think Vicinium macrocarpus. There you go. Vicinium macrocarpus. Carpus. Carpus. Something like that. Okay, we're following. Oh, right here. Oh, yes. What do we have, Rob? We have some pitcher plants. Pitcher plants. Which is kind of cool. Because they're like little. And you can see the, actually the flower here. Little pitchers. There's the flower for the pitcher plant. Nice. And then. What else? The where the where's the sweet gale, Rod? This is sweet gale here. Okay, and what do you do to test it? I stick it in your face. Yeah. I go but, like this. I smush it up. Yeah. Put it in your own face. Mmm, smells good. It does smell good. He yeah. shoved it up my nose. Thank you, Rodney Bell. Some willow. Oh, willow. Oh, what else? Another one. What is it? This is mountain holly. All right, we've got mountain holly too. Which is not a true holly. The other one, winterberry, is a true holly. Okay, botanist. Uh, over and out. Wait. Why? We have more. Okay, but we're, we have to we have way. to paddle on, Rod. We have this. We have some royal ferns, and then just below the royal ferns down here, we have oh, another yes. carnivorous plant. Oh, Rod we likes have this sundews one. here. Oh, look at that. So see plants. those red ones? Those yeah. are sundews. So the pitcher plants and the sundews are both carnivorous. And what do you think, Bridgie? Come by, my love. Come by, yeah. This is pretty nice. I can't believe it's... We haven't seen a single person since we left the truck. I'm looking for moose. Yeah. Mooses. I kind of thought we might see one in here. Maybe tomorrow morning. We just had a little bit of drizzle a couple of times. Yeah, it wasn't bad at all because it was supposed to be pretty rainy. It turned out to be not bad. Nice when you get out of the wind. Yeah. Okay, Bridgie, last hundred meters of paddling on day one. Here we go. Ra ra. Look at me dig. 
<laughs> I think we probably went about probably close to 17 kilometers with a little bit of a detour we made or I made. You should fucking do. <laughs> but we have a nice little sandy beach. Hopefully a nice campsite. I think we'll be protected out of the wind. And then we're I don't even know what time it is, but we're arriving at a good time. <laughs> It'll be supper time by the time we get set up. not the greatest campsite because the fire pit is right on the beach which is nice as long as it's not windy and of course it's windy um, and the sort of the tent setups in there there is sort of a smaller secondary fire pit in there so we'll use that one I think unless the wind dies down but beautiful nice sandy beach all along the shoreline here of the lakes really nice and tomorrow we head off in that direction So we are all packed up and ready to go. Bridge is down by the water with the canoe. And let's uh, load up. Got the coat, last thing. And today is a fishing day because you have to buy a license by the lake, by the day, surprisingly. So today we're allowed to fish on this lake before we get to the big portage. We are on our way. Day, day two. Woo! And the skies have cleared. Woo! It's actually pretty nice out right now, just a nice cool breeze. Woo! And we have a loon in the front of the canoe. Woo! <laughs> we didn't actually see much wildlife. We had a bald eagle fly over our campsite again last night. And he chirped. Yeah, we chirped a few times. We saw some sandpipers on the beach. Lots of moose poop. Lots of moose poop, no moose. And that was about it. it was and we had the best oatmeal for breakfast. <laughs> right, Rod? It was okay oatmeal for breakfast. What was missing, Rod? Um, kind of like a little bit of brown sugar with my oatmeal. Can't carry brown sugar, it's too heavy. <laughs> <laughs> so we went just plain oatmeal. So we are powered up. Um, today is the only day that we have a bit of a long, long portage after we get through the next couple of lakes. I think it's 850 meters, something like that. Um, so that'll be later in the day, probably after lunch, that we'll do that. And today we get to fish on this lake. Um, so probably by the time we get down to the islands, maybe I'll pop a line in and see if I can see it. Oh, okay, folks. <gasps> Rod's got a walleye, people. Okay, I'm going to do the... It's a walleye, people! 
Oh, she's spraying me. Riley! Riley's caught a fish. This is our first bite. And he's had his line out for a bit now. This is where you lift it and, sh and brag about it. Is that a good size? It might not be the right size. Uh oh, we have to measure it. Under 22. Where the hell is the little measuring thing? Woohoo! Got a fishy. It is with sad regret that we report. We have to let him go. He's 37 centimeters. Right. Too big. What was the max? 32. Under 32 or over 47. So that's a mama or a papa. A, uh, a breeding. We'll try again. All right, fine. That was exciting. That was just trolling too with a jig. Trolling with a jig, people. Trolling with a jig.